Thomas, this is Rafi Media Villa from criticologos.com. Thank you for taking a little bit of your time to talk about the movie. I loved it. Really yeah. fun. I, I think couples are going to enjoy it on a, on a weekend. And congratulations. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. So I, I think what I just said is to me what, what works the most is a fun movie that a couple should all watch in, in a weekend with popcorn and, and candy at home because of how the dynamic between the relationship and, and Dave and Emma works. And I think that that that, that the dynamic side the narrative, but also the action is there to take it to another level and obviously to develop Emma's story. So I want to ask you, how were you how was it what was important to balance those 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 both those two elements to make sure that you can have the narrative and both things work and get the equal amount of time on screen? Yeah, that's a very clever question. Uh, it's and and it's been on our minds all through the work of the film. Like really balancing the thriller and the comedy has been something like we've been working on this in on the script and during this and, and we knew that it was going to be key to the success of the film. And and at some point, so at some moments, I was not even sure where this should you know on which side it should uh, it should veer. And uh, in, in many uh, instances, we did uh, two versions of the scene, uh, a more serious one, more thriller one, or a more comedy one. For instance, the scene in the bar in Berlin where uh, David uh, is reunited with Katie, uh, we, uh, we, we shot it basically two very different versions of it. Uh, and then still in the edit, we've been working a lot uh, to uh, find a sweet spot there, which is very, it's a very subtle work. I mean, like we've been uh, editing like two, three, four cuts of the film before we named that. Before at some point the balance was there and the film was singing, but it's it, it was very difficult, but we knew that was going to be the challenge. So we were ready for that. Perfect. I got to talk about working with Kelly Foucault. She has done everything. I mean, she has proven that she can do anything that you know that would any part that you could put on her on her lap and you could put on her on her table. She can talk, she has done comedy, she has done drama, she has done uh, action movies. I did did she bring something to the table that 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 she, she brought to you or did she follow your lead all the time? How was how was the dynamic working with her? Uh Kate is an actress who know herself and knows her uh, uh qualities and strengths uh incredibly well and she she was very very clever in 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 uh deciding what was right what was not right for her she has that she says she has that sparkle and she needs to she needs to be able to express it and uh and she's very good at managing that she's extremely professional and uh and she was very clever in in making that choice of that film in deciding to play that character, which is not only comedy, which is partly serious. And because really the balance in the film is that David is the funny clown and she's more the serious clown. Uh, and and she was, I think it was very clever and very brave of her to make that choice because the audience knows her as the funny clown. And uh, and in fact, she, I think she's, uh, she wants to uh, take us, you know, like broaden, her uh, her uh, performances or choices and show that she can do much more than what we know of her. Uh, this is a really action packed. She has really action packed scenes, and I wonder uh, how tough what for her. Obviously, I'm, I'm I'm sure that we're using stunt doubles here. She didn't do all, all the work, but how 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 much she wanted to be hands on on those specific physical scenes, or she was like, ah, I want to do that. No, don't 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 put the stunt double. How was it with her working in those specific the action scenes? Uh -huh. I think having action scenes was one of the reasons why she loved the project. So she was very keen on on being a, a part of it, and she really trained for for all of it. Uh, she she kept during prep, she kept sending me uh, sending me videos of her shooting in the shooting range uh, and showing me how good she was with the gun. Uh, and uh, and the only thing is that she was pregnant. She had a baby since uh, the, the film, and she was pregnant during the shoot. So there are moments when she had to let the double uh, 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 do uh, do part of the of the stunts. But uh, but she was uh, she was very happy to be part of it, and she was very willful in it. I, I wanna I wanna ask about the writing because I think it's really clever 
we were, we were speaking at the beginning of the interview, how we balance both the, 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 the robots behind the story and obviously the action plan scene. But I want to talk, I want to see, did, 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 the, did the screenwriter give you full uh, control of, of, of being able to modify where how the narratives go or did you just follow his lead? Uh, it was very much a, a group effort, a team effort. Uh, we worked with the producers and, and Seth, uh, the writer and uh, we were really sharing our love for that project and 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 it was very clear from the beginning that the first half was awesome and it's pretty much what it is. The second half still needed some work and we've been working a lot to uh, uh, um, make that thriller part to achieve that part of the film. Uh, but no, it was a it was a yeah a, a team effort really really. Um, Before that. Before I let you go, I, I just want to know what would you what, what, what do you want people to take away from the story? I I I really think specifically like couples are going to watch this, are going to enjoy it, and maybe you know role role play themselves with with you know uh, daydream of, of of putting themselves in this situation. What would you expect them to take away from the story? I think what's there is something that's I think quite subtle in the film. It doesn't. We don't say it up front, but it's there. Is that it's a very modern couple. It's a way to tell a story of a very contemporary couple with the this guy being D David's character being probably the less macho husband you can imagine, and her being a pretty macho wife. And mm -hmm. but then there is a balance between the two of them, and they're very loving. And couples can work in many different ways. And we're at a time where lots of couples are questioning themselves and reinventing the way it works between men and women. And, and I think it's a very hopeful, you know, um, uh, version of it. And I love to share it with the audience. I want to find a question because I, I, I'm, a, I'm a prominent, I'm an advocate of seeing women in lead roles. And this is something that stood out to me in this one with, with Kelly Coco. How important was for this story to be told this way with uh, women in, in the leading, in the, in the strong, position in this modern world, obviously. Uh, well, you know, like uh, the uh, um, the as the assassin having a double life is a classic trophy of film. I mean, there's been uh, uh, Mr. And Mrs. Smith and 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 and, mm -hmm. so, and on and on. And on. Um, uh, making the female version of it was a very point on version to share with the audience today. Uh, it does make sense because it, it it echoes with the world we're living in and the questions that we're asking ourselves and we're sharing with our loved ones. So it's true for me, and I think it's true for lots of people. And and I think the film it, and and this story and the way we tell it is a way to be part of that conversation with the audience in a very fun and and entertaining way because it's it's really not you know there's nothing it's not a you know, it's not an essay. It's a, uh, it's, it's a fun film. It's a, it, you know, it's a uh, popcorn, and but it's, a, it's clever popcorn, I think. It works. I, I, as intended. That's the, that's the way I see it. So, Thomas, thank you, thank you once again for the for your time and for the interview. Really fun movie. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I appreciate. It. Thank you. Have a great day.